Are you standing on business? Do you still talk to your exes? Y'all trying to get in my business. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Back to my channel, it's your girls Ikea happy vlogmas. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, we are here because I asked on Instagram for y'all to leave me some juicy, 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 juicy questions, and you all did not disappoint. So we are about to get into some of the questions that you have asked. If you are not following on me on Instagram, make sure that you follow. I got it on the screen. I hope y'all like my new look. You know, I'm trying to rock my real hair and you know, a little puff. I'm really enjoying this new version of myself. So yeah, let's get into this question and answer, okay? But first, let me get my drink. It's not the kind of drink you think. It's a little cherry Coke. Ralph's got them on sale for $3.99, so your girl had to get some for sure. These have been hitting strong. I know I ain't supposed to be even drinking soda, but it's been doing what it needed to do. And I got my little cute cup, so. Let's pour it in. Ooh, and cheers. Let's get into the tea. All right, so. Let's get into these juicy questions y'all asked me. Y'all went in. What is your relationship status? Most of these questions was juicy. Like y'all was trying to be in my business. So, which I asked for, so it's fine. But um, what is your relationship status? <laughs> no, so I am, I have a partner and um, she's amazing. Uh, you've seen her on my channel. If you have not seen her, her name is Pinto. And yeah, she's everything and I love her very much. And uh, we've been together for two and a half years and um, we, we, we in there. We in there like swimwear, we still doing that thing. And uh, hopefully we continue on. So yeah, that's my baby. And she's very supportive, so yeah. Relationship status, period, check. Your girl ain't single. Sometimes I wish, not I wish I could be single, but I, I really enjoy like the dating experience and I wish we could like go back, even me and her, we could go back to like, kind of just like date each other. I like the dating, era and i think it would be fun for us to like go on days like as often as possible and kind of rekindle that like spark i mean we rekindle we good but i think it would just be fun for us to like date each other like that new honeymoon phase that new like fresh phase where you get to know each other is always the most fun so that's that's that for sure dang i didn't realize that i got pink nails and a pink dress on your girl is giving Feminine, okay. What is something that turns you on about women and the women you date? Okay. So like, what's my type? Um, and what turns me on? Uh, I actually really love kindness. I, I love kindness and swag, okay? If you swaggy and you sweet, you can get me, baby. Uh, but like very, very sweet. I want someone to cater to me that wants to like make me happy. Like that turns me on and makes me want to do anything for you, you know? Um, I always reciprocate the energy. So like someone that's super sweet. And then you gotta have like some swag. It ain't even that you gotta be like the finest. You just gotta have some swag. Uh, you gotta have some charm, charm charm because I really enjoy uh you know like like being flirty and playful together and when you with somebody that's a little swaggy like you know they look good they feeling they self they confident they confident and confidence is very sexy very sexy not not overly confident not big headed but like yes like very confident it's super, 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 it's like a turn on. I used to want like, um, I feel like I used to want like a bad, a bad girl, bad boy type of thing. Uh, I used to go for dreadheads. <laughs> uh, but when you, like, if you really would see my past history, I, I 
was all over the place. Like I dated all different types. It was never like, you could never, you can't look at my history and be like, oh, I know where her type is because my type is all over the place. Like light skin, dark skin, all types. Like I've dated all types, locks, fades, you know, but always everyone was very sweet, very confident and, um, and at least initially treated me like a queen. And I, I and that, that always made me feel real good. Let me do my little thumbnail right now. How is your mental currently? How is your mental currently? So my mental state, actually I just recently did a video on this. Um, basically talking about how depressed I was. So if you have not watched that video, click out of this video, go watch that video, come back. Okay? Period. Like, click out of this, go watch that, come back, and watch the rest of this. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I have been going through a lot lately, and so yeah, I did a video on just my mental state and just where I was. I have been like up and down. Life is an up and down. Life is a roller coaster. You be going through highs and lows, you be, you be good, then you be freaking laid out, okay? And um, I've been experiencing all of it, and it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. But, um, but I'm happy, and I feel this energy of just positivity and such great things happening, so I'm really excited for what's to come, so. <laughs> this is funny. Are you standing on business all 2024? You already know I'm standing on business. Oh, 2024. I'm standing on business today. What is today? December 19th, baby. I'm standing on business from today forward, okay? Period. And I hope we all standing on business, okay? Places you want to live anywhere in the world. I, oh, so many, but I would really love to live in Switzerland. I would love to live in Costa Rica. I would love to live, I actually want to live in Arizona which is weird because I know they probably got some crazy bugs, but I think Arizona would be pretty fun. I would love to live um, in New York, in the city. I think that could be fun. Um, and uh, where else? But overseas, I would love to live in Africa for a bit of time too, actually. I think that would be really beautiful. And where else? Oh, I love to live in Bali. I would love to live in Bali for a season. Yes, yes, give me six months in Bali. I think that would be really fun. So I like to experience different cultures, so I wanna like be really engulfed in different cultures and check it out and like really dive deep in with the locals and like really live like a resident. So I would love to live in a bunch of different places. I think that it helps just like expand your mind. Comment down below and let me know where y'all would wanna live. Um, and also if you have any uh, y'all can answer these questions too. Comment down below and answer these questions with me and I would love to see what y'all think, what y'all statuses are as well. Do you move in your more masculine or feminine energy? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I feel like previously I was very controlling. I was very much so moving in a masculine, aggressive energy and Right now, in this season of my life, I wanna be a feminine. I wanna be a girly girl. I wanna be spoiled. I wanna be taken care of. Like, I really, I don't mind. Somebody can take care of me. My baby can take care of me, okay? So I want to like, very much so live in like this feminine, submissive energy. And not, and not submissive, like not all feminine energy means that we gotta be all passive and stuff. But I'm saying like, this girly, feminine, like, treat me like a queen, take care of me, treat me like royalty kind of energy. Like that's really where I am. And I, I really wanna be in that space. So yeah, your girl, your girl is trying to be in that energy, okay? Have you ever felt betrayed? And if so, when? Mm. Let me take a sip. Okay, yes. I mean, everybody has felt betrayed, right? But I have felt betrayed in many, many situations. Friendships, family, relationships, uh, intimate relationships, like, I've been through it all. And um, uh, when did I feel betrayed? 
it's so many times like I could literally name so many different ones maybe I need to do a video on that but I guess most recently no I felt big betrayed in 2022 you know um for sure in 2022 I felt betrayed and um before then <laughs> uh just I felt but 2019 I felt betrayed I've been through a lot and um I felt betrayed by a lot of different people so I'm just gonna leave it at that period period have you ever tried anything with a woman sexually? Okay, you must not be an OG. You must have just came on my Instagram, baby. Because if you're OG, you know what it is. But uh, yes, obviously, I date women and I have been with women sexually. And yeah, for sure. Do you still talk to your exes? I do not really talk to my exes. Um, the only... And I don't even want to call her ex because I don't think we were ever really officially together. But I have a, a homie that I talk to every once in a while. They'll hit me up um, like on Instagram and just see how I'm doing. That's really it. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess I can say no because I really don't talk to any of my exes. For real. I really don't. Um, I really don't and that's weird for me because I always have been that person that felt like even though they're your ex they can still be your friend but I've noticed that people are in your life for a reason a season and and that's it so sometimes they hear it and sometimes they're not and I think that probably in most cases an ex is an ex for a reason even if you can't see it so that's kind of where i am with it now so yeah would you ever consider having a threesome with your partner see y'all trying to get in my business y'all trying to get in my business y'all want to know about me <laughs> uh, okay would i ever consider having a threesome with my partner for sure no problem i would totally consider having a threesome i think that that's fun i think it has to be done in a particular way um because people can be crazy and and also ain't trying to just be in a mess but yeah you know out of the country little threesome or something like that for sure i would totally have a threesome but i'm also very big on safety and I need to know your statuses. I need to know, make sure, I need to know that you are clean before we do anything, period. Have any exes tried to spin the block or have you ever tried to spin the block? Yes, uh, a lot of my exes have tried to spin the block. Um, a lot of my, and I don't, I'm saying a lot, like I got a lot of exes, but yes, for sure. I can just leave it at that. Yes, they have for sure tried to spin the block. Have I ever tried to spin a block with somebody? Yes, yes, because I, I guess the old me would feel like it's like this level of comfortability that you have, you know, like having to like get to know somebody new, even though I love getting to know new people, is in like, sometimes it's just easier to see if things could work, you know what I mean, with somebody. I'm very loyal and I do try very hard in my relationship, so I have, tried to spin the block not a, a, a large number of times probably once or twice <laughs> yeah so yes yes i've tried to spin the block as well am i in that place anymore probably no no after it's done it's done i ain't trying to spin the block with you uh you know if it don't work out then i wish you the best <laughs> oh we're almost done this was so much fun okay do you like your new apartment uh yes love my new place love the vibe love the energy love the people love the area love my new apartment the vibes are giving and um and i cannot wait for it to be fully done and ready to go because it's cute and i love just everything about it so Yes, thank you for asking. I love my new apartment. Are you friends with any of your exes? I'm gonna say no. I, I thought about that and I'm gonna say no. I'm not really friends with any of my exes. Um, I 
uh, the person that I was even speaking about earlier, like we were never officially in a relationship and we dated, but we were never like for real together. And it was very a short lived thing. So yeah, I'm gonna say no, I'm not friends with any of my exes, period. Is there anything you could, if there was anything you could change about your relationship, what would that be? If there was something I could change about my relationship, I would love for us to have better communication. We are very much so working on our communication skills with each other. Just blissfulness. We, we are blissful, but I want like constant blissfulness and uh, unlimited amounts of money, baby, because we be all over this world. We will be all over the place. We will be traveling all the time, okay? Um, so if I could change anything, that would be what I would change. So, yeah, that was all the questions. Oh my God, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. This was super fun. Cheers. <laughs> I really enjoyed doing this little question and answer. I need to do these more often. This was really, really fun and um, yeah, I don't mind opening up a little bit, a little bit. Make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you like and comment and share and all that good stuff. Turn on your post notifications. I love y'all so much. And this is Vlogmas, so I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow in another video. Love you. Bye! <laughs>